Hello YouTubers, this is Giuseppe aka Kuba Grumpy. Welcome to my Sony Vegas tutorial. We're going to be focusing on editing orps in CSGO. There are three main things we're going to be working on. The number one is shoot, zoom in with scope. I am blessed. I am blessed. And the second one will be shoot, zoom in without scope. I'm defusing the bomb. I'm defusing the bomb. And the third one will be beat syncing orbs with the music. Well, enjoy. Let's get right into it. Step number one ungroup. Remove from you. Right click and remove from you. Just click anywhere. Yeah, and then you can see they are separate. Okay. So let's look at the video. I mean, there, there. Okay, we he's only coming, basically coming in the picture there. So we'll just we don't have to waste that that space. So he's coming in, and he's gonna get the last frame just before he gets shot. We want to take a snapshot of that. Okay, we snapshot. So it is image three. Save. Let's close that and image 3 goes into a project media we take that and we drag it on the top here and we'll work on it now now so now what we want to do we got the shot straight after the lens flare is gone we wanted to zoom in again and it must be slow motion of the guy falling so this first part We can actually slow it down a bit as well, I guess. So let's just do it. Let's just see just before it gets shot. We split it there. Move that to the beginning. And the shot is on the next frame. So on the next frame must be there. Where the audio starts. Where this audio line starts here. That's where the shot must be. Let's just zoom in a bit. Yeah, so it's basically there so it's but that's good enough and then we're going to slow this piece down because we cut out some pieces so we're just going to slow it down and we control control and then you drag the end so this piece is going to be playing slow this piece here is going to be playing slow that right there that will be playing slow gun sh gunshot zoom out off the gunshot as the guy starts falling, let's just split that there. Okay. That's it. And we're going to, straight after that, we're going to put a zoom in again. But naturally, we don't want, want that part of the zoom in. We actually want, we want to watch it in slow motion. So now we're going to mask it. select the mask make sure you in the beginning of the timeline select the oval and circle mask creation tool make a nice little circle move that into place slightly bigger okay we might want to make that negative so we can see the bottom layer and uh, also feather both what was it three or four let's can go four yeah four is good enough okay so what's hap happening now we've got this layer yeah with a mask hole through it that you can see the bottom layer we're going to put that on top of there okay so you're going to view that so we'll take this out just put that to the beginning there and now we we get shot we want to zoom into there so we just click on the event pan crop and make sure the uh, the keyframe is in the beginning of the timeline and we'll move that in closer also really we also want you want to see the lens flare that's it just there so that goes there and when it finishes 
we can split it there and also slow it down. People's brains are slow. They want things to be slow so they can see things better. And let's play it. Well, this video clip, because it is a close range orb shot, just before it gets shot, I'm going to zoom in and slow it down. Okay, what we're going to ungroup, remove from you, and then this will be on its own. So we don't want the video, we want it to come start from about there so we can slow it down. Okay, start from there. And there we see him there. And straight. We'll split it just before the gunshot. So we'll slow it down a little bit. Well, we'll have to slow down right up till the gunshot. Where's the gunshot? It's right there. So we'll have to put that where it must come on. Yeah, that was fine. And then let's just slow that down. To there. And when he actually gets killed. can actually slow down yeah we can actually slow that down we'll, this part will actually zoom in let's cut that there split that there let's delete that and control and drag this to slow it down that's good enough let's see what that looks like Okay, so this part we want to zoom in. Click the events pan crop to the beginning of the, the keyframe. Put the keyframe in the beginning. And we actually want to get a bit of the. Let's just move it a bit forward just to see. Yeah, that's still going to be in. It's fine. There, let's see how much of the flame, flame is still in. It's still fine. Now the more the closer you go in the more quality you lose so you've got to watch out on that okay let's try that so we've got there yeah well, let's try and go closer like really really close see the key see i created the keyframe on top at the end now so it's going to work all wrong so we've got to delete that first one and move that keyframe back okay let's try this again from the beginning perfect so we've got some different kind of clips so we'll select get the selection tool select all of that right click and create new we'll save that What I decided on doing, on the beat of the music, I want to put a shot from an AWP. So I'm going to go to the whole video and just cut out all the AWP parts and put that on a different layer first. We'll just hear how it sounds like this. I was innocent, Boom. 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 That's what I want to do. I want to put all those AWP shots in there. So let's start with that. We'll now mute the music. We're going to now create a new layer. Insert new video track. And now we're going to go through this whole video and get every single shot with an AWP. 
and then just put it onto the new layer so we got all those parts so what we can do we can forward like this till we see something with an AWP it's a very long process video editing it takes very very long here we go there's an AWP let's see what we got there and you also want the video to be nice because people watch us and if you just got AWP shooting and nothing happens it's also pretty boring so you, you do want something to happen music what we'll do we'll just lock it so that whatever I do with cutting and that doesn't affect that that line there okay yeah so we go we got a clip a first shot already okay and uh, we split it both ways and we send that up let's keep on playing and we've got another shot and we've got another shot there so we can split that as well and move that up and let's go look for more here's another you can always see the audio file at the bottom to see when something shoots so you know it's, something's gonna happen there so let's play now there we go we can take that piece there we'll split in the beginning split afterwards don't worry about splitting a bit too much to the left a bit too much to the right all we get in is clips at the moment uh, the nice thing about Sony Vegas whatever you got over here you can even though that you split there you can still go back and add it back again if you want to or you can make it smaller you see I'm putting them all on this new track over here so I know all AWP shots are on one track so if I'm looking for AWPs they're all on one track all these videos I'm gonna select every single AWP shot and put it on the top I'm guaranteed to get some good shots once I'm finished selecting all my AWP gun sounds I take a selection edit tool and I select just that top layer where I put all my AWP videos clips on and go back to the normal edit tool and I just move everything to the end away from this I know it's, it's totally separate I move it to the end if I look yeah these are all my clips so what I do I just go delete all those empty spaces if you turn on the auto ripple tool here at the bottom if you double click and delete it moves all the spaces back once I closed all the gaps between the clips I just uh, move it back down with the auto ripple on then I can just move everything back down and I turn the auto ripple off if you don't turn the auto ripple off it kind of messes you around while you're editing so you can see all these clips over here that I've been taken out they were all the parts that were of the orbs that I've taken away and I've placed them all together in one place so this is the go-to spot of getting all my orb signs and what we'll do we'll rename that layer uh, let's re rename it and we'll name it as AWP once we got more layers we can find that easy what we'll do we'll first move everything out of place we got the song in place we'll select everything and just move it away from the song and then what we'll do we'll select just the the AWP sounds and move them down I can put them there together where the song where the song is we'll just move it a bit away so we can do a bit of space put the auto ripple back on go back to your normal selector tool and move that away yeah we got our song now we want to create all the beats let's unmute the song you can see where all the beats are where they should go but what you can do you can create markers the nice thing about markers you can create them and you can also move them and change them the way you want so if we play it you just press the M and you create markers it kind of gives you an idea where you want them to be so let's take our video clips now and let's place the shots on the beats and hear what it sounds like let's take the auto ripple off okay so let's place it there and then we're going to place our next one there Let's zoom make it a bit bigger so 
Next one's gonna be there. So every second one, I'm going to put in that orb sound. You can see that the markers that I put in, I'm only using every second beat. So what I do now, every second beat, I can just delete it so that it makes it easier that I don't need them. It's just right click there and delete. Leave that on and that one there. Delete. Delete. This is the gap I want to put my video in with the orb sign. Uh, we'll just take the next one. That's it. So it's every second one. It makes it easier, like I say, you don't have too many markers. So you'll just put them in like there. So basically, you just put in all the markers in that now. Hear what it sounds like and then take out what you don't want and put in what you want and change the whole video at the later stage. After you finish lining up your orb sounds together with the music, what I do now, I delete all my markers so I just can get them out of the way. Click shift and right click and delete. So all my markers are gone. Now what I want to do, I want to actually put the, the, the beat on sync more precise. And by doing that, I look at the waveform of the music and look when the beat comes on. So let's go to over there. You can see that's where the beat is. It's where it's a bit higher there. And that's where you want my orb sound to be the same. So try and make an orb sound and that beat look the same. That wave to look the same. Let's play that. Yeah, that, sound, that looks good. Look at this one. This one's far out. Let's just play that first. Okay, let's put it there. Move that one there. And that's going to be more exact. Perfect. On all the video clips, you must right click, you go to properties, and uh, disable resemble. Always disable resemble. It takes away the ghost effect. I just got a button on top here which I've got smart render disable. It disables you know, on all the, the uh, video clips, but you can just highlight all the video clips and just click uh, disable resemble. I'm going to press that. And it's ready. Really